Hello and welcome to another Science Man digital lesson. Today we're going to do something a little bit different. I've got a tutorial on how to uh, change out a hard drive on a MacBook Pro. In this case, the MacBook Pro model is the late 2009 unibody model. You can tell these pretty easily because they have no external battery compartment. So if you want to get in to the battery or hard drive, uh, you're going to have to take off the, the bottom. So let's do that right now. And what you'll need is a number zero Phillips screwdriver, very small, and you want to get one with uh, a fairly rounded tip that'll fit into these screws on the bottom most easily. There are 10 screws, so I'm going to remove those right now. Okay, so now we're ready to take off the bottom case and all you need to do to do that is uh, get your fingernails underneath the, uh, the bottom of the case near the vent and then just uh, lift it up gently and there are a couple of clips holding it so you'll have to apply a little bit of pressure once you get this and you'll feel the clips pop just like that then you can take that lower case and just set it aside now we're looking at the internal components we can see our uh, our battery right here and our hard drive right here now unfortunately we're going to have to get this battery out of the way in order to get at the hard drive connector so that's going to be our next step okay we've now reached the point where we need to remove the battery to get at the hard drive but there's a slightly annoying part of this in that Apple in their wisdom has chosen to use some special five point screws um, in three locations, right here, here, and right here underneath the tab where it says warning do not remove battery. So either you have to get a hold of a special five point torque screwdriver, um, Apple calls it specialty tool 9229101, or you can just get a flathead screwdriver and if you, you're lucky you'll get the right size. I happen to have one uh, I ground down a little bit and it fits perfectly so just a flathead screwdriver will do with a little bit of tinkering so I'm just removing those three annoying screws right now and that'll bring us to the next step which is the actual removal of the battery so once you've got these three screws removed there's really nothing holding this battery in all you have to do is is pull the tab but if we zoom in here for a second what we'll do is we'll take a close look at the connector and what you have to do is be careful just give yourself enough room by lifting up the tab and then tilting the battery out of the way so when you do that you'll be left with a little bit of space that you'll be able to get your fingers into and remove that battery uh, battery connector from the motherboard now you can actually um, help with a screwdriver as I'm doing right here so there I've got the uh, the screwdriver used to uh, remove that battery connector so now the battery just um, pulls right out and we can set that aside and I'll talk a little bit more about that later. Now we have free access to our, our hard drive, so we'll just zoom back out. So we have free access to our, our hard drive, and um, what we need to do is get the screws out um, to loosen that hard drive, so we'll do that next. Now for this next stage, we've zoomed in on our hard drive area, and this removal is actually quite easy. There's two Phillips screwdrivers here and here that secure the hard drive. So we just use our small 
number zero Phillips to loosen those two screws and this bracket comes right out and you don't have to worry about those screws falling out they're captured in there so we can just set that aside and now you can lift the tab of the hard drive and it just comes right out it's held in place by these little mounting screws and you can see that there's a ribbon that secures the um, uh, SATA connection so we'll just then gently use our fingers to pull on that ever so gently and that connector is now loose so we've removed our our hard drive so at this point all we need to do is remove these mounting screws and put them on the new hard drive if we want we can be picky and put our small bit of uh, tape here we can remove that as well and that can be uh, our tab for our new hard drive and then basically everything is just the reverse of disassembly now just before I wrap this up I wanted to talk about one other annoyance uh, at least with my um, 15 inch MacBook Pro and that is I've noticed that the trackpad is getting less and less sensitive uh, I have to push harder and harder on it and from research on the internet it, it appears that that's not that uncommon and apparently what's what the uh, issue is is that these these batteries ever so slightly swell if you look closely at the area of the battery that rests over top of the trackpad you'll see where Apple has uh, got their battery uh, obviously there are cell units inside this battery and if you press it if you press it with your thumbs you can actually feel the flexibility of those those cells and what I suspect is happening is that this is what this joint right here is what is um, allowing these cells to expand outward uh, uh, outward a little bit and that's what's pushing against the trackpad so what I think what Apple really needs to do is redesign this so you don't have this flexibility in this area right above uh, the trackpad. Anyway, if anybody else has ideas, please uh, share them. Anyway, thank you very much for viewing this scienceman.com digital lesson. I hope you have a, a good success replacing your uh, hard drives in your MacBook Pro unibodies.